Oh, hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday for you. Happy Wednesday. I hope it's going great. I hope it's safe and healthy and all the things. Mine is going well so far. I'm not sick and I get to make all these fun videos for you. So my day is going great. Obviously, I'm going to film another video today. I'm on a roll every day this week so far, all two of them. I want to do a Kandama video because somebody in the comments requested that I do more Kandama. So I'm gonna do a Kandama video. I do read the comments, see? So I'm gonna do this Kandama. I'm gonna use the Chrom Kandama today. Chrome, Chrom, I don't know how to say it. I'm gonna use this one. I kind of feel like it would be fun to try to match it. You know how I am with my matching colors. So I'm gonna see if I have any bright red shirts. I actually don't know if I do. So let's go look. This is my closet. I made it. It's sort of a makeshift closet because <laughs> my room doesn't have one. So let's, ooh, uh, IJ shirt from 1983. I wasn't born yet. Guess I don't have a lot of red stuff. IJ shirt it is, you. All right, I've got my shirt on, I've got my kandama. It's wrinkly, I didn't iron it. I went through the trouble of getting a matching shirt, but I didn't go through the trouble of ironing it, so. It's like 80% effort. I just feel like I haven't made a lot of progress in Kandama because I don't practice it very much. So I really wanna kinda of try to get this trick that I've worked the most on, but I still am not very good at, which is the turn, yep. Mm -hmm. Which is the turntable, which is basically, I'll get it on the video. It's basically a trick where it, the Kandama's here and you flip this around and you catch it like that. I think it would be cool, like a cool illusion if it's a really wide shot, really close to the camera lens. I A, don't know if I can do the trick, and then B, I don't know if I can like get it that close without hitting my camera. So we're gonna find out. All right, I'm gonna set up my shot. Let's do a test, maybe like right here. My shirt's probably not even gonna be in it, watch. So if I pop it up, sure. That was about right there. <laughs> so I was too close. How about more like right here? Yeah, like that. Maybe somewhere in the middle between those two. Like right here. And does it look better if I'm like in front of it? Like this? Which is gonna be hard. Or does it look better if I'm... When I lift it up, it's gonna be hard to keep it in frame. That's what I'm most worried about. Cause it is like a pushing up trick. I act as though I can do it. Mm-hmm. Ah, that was close. So I rotated the camera slightly. I would like the Kendama to be between these two pillars just because it visually looks nice. And I think I liked me being out of it better. <laughs> Maybe at the end I'll come into it just so that it's like, hey, it's Taylor. All right, that was a, that was a warm up. Let's try this. Is there an easier trick I can do? Like really close. Oh, come on. I'm really worried it's gonna go out of frame. Oh, come on. And here I thought this would be the thing that wouldn't touch the coronavirus ground. All right, it's going too high. I can't, I can't do this trick. I'm just gonna play around with like some other ones and see if one of them just looks particularly satisfying, especially because I can slow it down and get like a really juicy slow-mo close-up. Gotta get low. I could just cheat it and be like, blink. <laughs> Let's just see what that does. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. This is the fun part. It'd be cool if it ended that way. And it was like crom, okay. I don't know. This might be really stupid. Let's try this again. Yeah, sure, let's try that. It's gonna be like a product shot, I don't know. <laughs> let's see how that looks. I think this is interesting, at the very least. Gotta get my squat position. 
course, when I actually have to do the kendama trick, it's really hard. Oh, come on. Okay, what can I do that's not that trick? Let's try that. Here, I'm gonna take this off. It's a good spot for it. That's too big. It's not gonna be in shot anyway. I don't know. I'm afraid to look at it because this might be really stupid. I actually really liked that. I thought it was good. Uh, I would like to maybe try something else. I'm just trying to get a couple variety shots just to see which one turns out best. So maybe if I start on the logo. Nope, what about a yank up or whatever? Let's try that one more time, but that might be interesting. Yeah, I think that was a success. We'll see when I actually go to edit it, but uh, I think that the whole point of that was just to do something different. I don't see a lot of Kendama videos that use that like close-up thing, so hopefully it looks a little different than something you would normally see. I liked it because it got to kind of flex my creative muscles, you know? I think that's really important. Like, don't be afraid to kind of do something differently. Some of my most successful videos on Instagram have been because I thought outside of the box of how to present it. Not necessarily just doing something hard or difficult or impressive, but doing it in a different way. So hopefully this isn't totally stupid, but if it is, it's just one video. We'll get better on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe if you want. And then also, if you want to do extra support, you can go over to my Otter Club on Patreon and join that. If you want a Kendama, you can go get one of those at Kendama USA. Also, you should support the IJA. They're awesome. There's a link in the description to them as well. What else? Oh, the final video will be posted over on my Instagram. There's a link in the comments. Go click on it and see it and show it some love and, you know, see how it turned out. Stay safe and healthy. Okay, bye.